have a saying for you guys. If you follow your plan, money becomes a fan. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's just Manu back again with another video. So today, how do I explain it? Today was actually a pretty good day. Uh, first trade that I took, unfortunately, uh, the news kind of went through my, not kind of, it did go through my setup. So I lost that trade. Second trade, I got whipped out by a little bit, went right back in, and then that third trade covered my losses and then some sold. But I just wish I didn't take that first trade. The second trade, I get. But the first trade, it was 10 minutes before the news. Like, I really thought I was going to catch at least one to two before coming out. So here we are. Let's just get into the video. So here we are at the one hour. We can see one hour we are at an uptrend. So I will be looking for a demand to um head up right so this is the news me zoom in this is the news that broke through my a um demand area hope you guys can see that and then i just kind of waited for news to pass before trying to trade it um i did draw this five minute demand over here with a line at the end of a wick that was there as well sometimes you'll see demands like these and some people don't wouldn't like to trade this because they're expecting for the market to kind of go past this five this uh demand and that's okay that's liquidity grab if you want to invalid that area because it grabbed liquidity <clears throat> then so be it i mean i don't um I actually wouldn't, I understand if it goes past this five minute demand and grab liquidity and then head to my direction. I'm completely okay. I don't think it invalidates the area because you still had a bias. You still had a buy bias. So is it really invalid? Um, it just grabbed liquidity. So anyways, I drew the line here at the end of the wick, um, just to keep in mind that, hey, if this, if the market breaks through this five minute, understand why. And that's exactly what it did. So when it did that, I just waited for a break of a candle as if it was still in a five minute demand and I grabbed it. That's literally, literally what I did today. And this is what it looked like. I held it for like one to four, crazy. It tapped it at the T, like at the exact area at the end of that um, whip. And then I just waited for the break of the candle. It was this wick that whipped me out the first time. And I was like, nah, I believe in this trade. Hello. And this is what happened. When I saw this, I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm holding. I saw it pushing like, like crazy. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm holding. I'm at least holding it to here. And that's exactly what it did. Tapped it to the T, to the exact, before reversing. I can't, I did come out a little bit of after it reversed. And that was all under four, y'all. That was all under four. And it was how many pips? I think 33 pips. About 30 to 33 pips. And that was, that was the trade that covered my two losses and then some so i hope that helped let me know if it if it did or if it didn't hear me out if you follow your plan money becomes a fan i don't have to explain to you guys what it means okay so i hope you guys have a great trading week see y'all next week god willing and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and that's it y'all bye